Hey guys, it's Christine, also known as Ivy Winter. Thank you for joining me for another very exciting video. I don't normally do news videos, you guys know that. Not really my jam, but this news is my jam. I am so pumped that I ran down here to make a video, didn't even really put makeup on. That's how serious I am right now because Galaxy's Edge opening dates have been announced. They were announced today during the annual shareholder uh, presentation conference for Disney um, and it is big news because they are earlier than expected. So Disneyland's Galaxy's Edge will be opening May 31st, 2019, and Disney World's will be opening August 29th, 2019. So this is way earlier than we all thought. Um, originally, the rumor was June for Disneyland, and they said end of fall for Disney World, which everyone interpreted as, well, end of fall is technically mid-December, so they could push this as far as they want to the end of the year. And it turns out that things are rolling along a lot quicker than we thought because they are opening sooner for everybody, and I am so, so pumped. Something I forgot to mention in all of my crazy excitement about this is that with the announcement of the dates, they also said that the only ride being opened is Smuggler's Run. Well, not quite in those words, but it will be open with Smuggler's Run, but Rise of the Resistance will not be open. So only one of the two rides will be open in both lands, and Rise of the Resistance will have a later opening date. So it's obvious that that is why they were able to open sooner than planned, but I would love to know your guys' thoughts on if it matters to you, if you will still rush to Galaxy's Edge with only one ride open, or if you'd rather wait for both to be open to get the full experience. So I'm really excited because I made a trip for November because it is my birth month and I wanted to finally do a birthday trip, but not thinking that Galaxy's Edge was going to be open yet. Well, surprise, <laughs> I guess I'll be dealing with those crowds, but I'm also very excited to check it out then. That said, this fall is going to be crazy in Disney World. I'm gonna talk more about Disney World in this video because that's more my, my expertise, um, but I can only imagine now that we know that it's going to be open end of August, that means that all of fall will be crazy. I mean, it's gonna be crazy for a while, you guys, like, let's be real. But I think if you want to see Galaxy's Edge on either coast, you're gonna need to book sooner than later. I have a feeling that rooms are gonna start booking up very quickly, not only for opening, because there will be those people who want to do that, um, but you know, throughout the rest of fall. Now you've got Galaxy's Edge opening, along with some of the most popular events like Food and Wine in Epcot and Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party in Magic Kingdom. This is gonna be the craziest fall I think they've seen in a long time. Those profits are gonna go way up and it's just going to be fully booked out. So I would say make your moves as fast as possible in terms of booking if you want to see Galaxy's Edge sooner than later. Um, I think that it'll be interesting to see how this affects discounts and packages and those prices. You know, Disney does seasonal discounts and deals all the time. Will this mean that they won't be as good this fall as maybe past falls because they don't need to push people to get into the parks? I guess we'll see, um, but it's gonna be very interesting to see what the attendance is like. Especially with it opening the end of August, there are some school years that will have already started, some that will have not yet. I'm not sure about the Florida school year, but if they aren't in school yet, then you better bet your butt there's gonna be a lot of locals. There will be anyway, but um, if someone who lives in Florida can let me know in the comments below, that'd be awesome. I'm in New York, so I don't know it off the top of my head, um, but even still, I feel like there's gonna be just a lot of people there, especially for breaks like Labor Day and Columbus Day and all of that. It's gonna be madness, guys, um, but I am very, very excited. I know for myself I'm excited to see photos and um, just imagery that comes out, but I'm also gonna be very cognizant to not spoil anything, and this doesn't just go for rides. I don't even wanna spoil the experience, really, of stores or uh, restaurants because there's so much about you know, the animatronics that are gonna be there, and I just wanna experience that all myself for the first time. So I'm gonna be very wary about what I see. I might have to like honestly block like some Galaxy's Edge conversation on Twitter once they start opening, because I, 
I want to know some things, but I don't want to spoil everything being fresh and new and exciting for me. Um, that's just me personally, and it's gonna be tough, but that's that's gonna, I'm gonna try to make that my thing. Whether or not there'll be annual pass holder previews, I mean, there were for Avatar Land. I can't see why they wouldn't for Star Wars. So it could be if it's opening August for Disney World as early as May even, but um, probably I'm thinking June, July. Uh, so keep an ear out for that, all of you guys who are annual pass holders. But I am so, so excited. I Like I said, I normally don't do videos like this. This was not even the video that was supposed to go out today. There's a different video that was supposed to go out, but I was way too excited to talk about it. You can tell I am talking a mile a minute. I apologize. I'm just so excited. Like, I am geeking out. So I would love to know in the comments below, do you have a trip that was like already planned and now you're getting to see Galaxy's Edge? Are you excited? Are you scared of the crowds? Um, are you going to do what I'm going to do and try not to spoil yourself? Or are you just going to watch everything and take it all in before you go? And are you not a Star Wars fan at all? And right now you're watching this and you're like, oh my god, I roll. I would love to know that too. So let me know all of your Galaxy's Edge thoughts and feels in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, then like it. If you like me, you should subscribe and make videos every single week. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day, and may the Force be with you. Bye.